Ball skills to entertain the tourists above the Paris skyline. Just one day to go until this city hosts the opening Euro 2016 match and the world will be watching. Right next to the iconic Paris landmark, they're preparing a huge fan zone for up to 90,000 people. Security at the front of so many mines here. Just as everyone will be searched going into the stadium itself, that'll happen here at the Eiffel Tower fan zone as well. It'll happen at all the fan zones. Much stricter checks at those key public focal points than fans will be used to from previous tournaments. Visiting supporters who tour this city will see echoes of last year's terror attacks, but find the French ready to play host despite the security risk. Lots of people from different countries having fun together, enjoying football, which is a great thing to do. And I think that's the way people should react, like having parties and having fun, even though this happened. But are you confident that people will be safe, that you will be safe, that France will be yeah, safe? Yeah, I think France will be safe. It makes sense to, to be worried because obviously we've been through a lot in 2015 and we don't want to see that happen again. After these scenes amid the horror of last November, France remains in a state of national emergency but has vowed that it will not be intimidated. At one of the cafes targeted last year, now back open for business, I met terrorism expert and analyst for France Van Kat, Wassim Nasir. I guess people are aware that there is a risk, but people are also aware that, that they should uh, keep on living, which is, which is called resilience. People are aware today that there is a risk, we have to live, we have to live with it. France has shown its resilience, its determination, to go ahead with what the president here called a sporting festival and a European festival. Peter Lane, 5 News, Paris.